If somehow you are stuck at the screen while trying to update the console with a higher firmware, your console was probably built or unbricked using a Dunner NAND or Prodinfo. And the console's Prodinfo you are currently using right now is outdated. This video will show you how to regenerate a new Prodinfo using the Prodinfo Gen tool. Let's get started. This console is modded and is using my latest head spec. Previously, I updated the console using Daybreak to a higher firmware, but unfortunately, I couldn't load any custom firmware afterward. For your information, Daybreak won't ever break your console unless the firmware files are corrupted or you have a zombie console that was built or resurrected from the dead by using a donor NAND or Prodinfo. Since I used a valid and proven firmware files, I guess this is a zombie console. I need to regenerate a new Prodinfo using the Prodinfo Gen tool. Press any of the volume button to get back to Hecate. Now connect the console to your computer using a USB Type-C cable. If you don't own the cable, you can remove the micro SD card and use a card reader to transfer the files into it. Now press Tools, USB Tools, disable the read-only option, then choose SD card. Download the latest Prodinfo Gen tool and the donor Prodinfo from the link in the description. Now get into the bootloader folder, enter the payload folder, and drag or copy the Prodinfo Gen binary file into it. Now get back to the root of the SD card and enter the switch folder. Put the donor Prodinfo binary file into it. Now right click the SD card drive, then eject it. Press close. Then close the page. Select home. Then choose Payload. Now we will extract the console keys by selecting the Lockpick RCM payload. Select them from Sysnet. Confirm it by pressing the power button. Now press any button to get back to the main menu. Use the volume button to move the cursor, then select Reboot to Hecate. Press the power button to confirm it. Again, select Payload. Then choose the Prodinfo Gen payload. On this screen, select Build Prodinfo file from Donner. Press any button to get back to the main menu, then select Reboot to Hecate. We will need to reopen the SD card content. Select Tools, then USB Tools, disable the read only option, then choose SD card. Navigate to the switch folder, then copy or drag the generated Prodinfo from donor binary file and the prod keys to your computer. And eject the drive. Press close. Now choose EMMC raw GPP. Download the latest version of the NX9 manager from the link in the description. Then run the NX9 manager. Click Options, then choose Configure Key Sets. Press Import Keys from File. Then select the Prod Keys file that we got previously. And save it. Click File, Open File, and select the generated Prod Info from Donner Binary File. Right-click the Prod Info, and select Encrypt and Dump to File. Save it to anywhere on your computer. And now select File, choose Open Drive, and select EMMC GPP Hecate. For safety reasons, we will backup the original Prodinfo from the console. So right-click the Prodinfo, select them to file, and save it anywhere on your computer. And now we will replace the Prodinfo with the one we generated and encrypted previously, the Prodinfo.enc. So right-click the Prodinfo, select Restore from File, then select the Prodinfo.enc.
Remove the USB cable from the console. Close the page. Get back to the home page and try to launch the SysMMC. Please do the same guide and procedure if you have the MUMMC. There you go, your console is now fixed. You might need to repeat this method for future firmware updates. Thanks for watching this video.